Welcome to Spidell's California Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane. This week, we're covering how real estate withholding is reported when property is owned by a trust. Spidell's federal and California tax update will get you updated on everything you need to start the upcoming tax season. And there are live webinar and in-person seminar options available. Go to caltax.com for details. Tax professionals frequently ask how to report real estate withholding for property owned by trusts. Withholding at source is required from sales of California real property by both residents and non-residents of California and for certain businesses, unless certain exceptions are met. Examples include sales at a loss, sales of principal residences, and tax-free exchanges. The rate of withholding is generally three and a third percent of the gross sales price, but taxpayers can elect to use an alternative rate based on the amount of gain from the sale. The withholding is reported using FTB Form 593, Real Estate Withholding Statement. On Part 2 of Form 593, the withholding agent, which is usually the escrow company, reports the property seller's or transferor's name, tax identification number, and address information. When trusts are involved in selling the property, the information provided depends on whether the trust is a grantor or a non-grantor irrevocable trust. If the property is sold by a grantor trust and the grantor is still alive, the withholding agent should enter the name and social security number or ITIN of the grantor, not the name of the grantor trust or the trustee information. The grantor will report the income from the sale and claim the withholding on their individual income tax return. If the grantor died prior to the sale, then the grantor trust becomes an irrevocable trust and the non-grantor trust reporting requirements apply. The withholding agent should not enter the decedent's or trustee's name or social security number in Part 2. If the property is sold by a non-grantor trust, the trust's name and FEIN should be entered in Part 2 of Form 593. If the trust distributes the income from the sale to the beneficiaries, the trust also is required to pass through the withholding to the beneficiaries. To do this, the trust files FTB Form 592, Resident and Non-Resident Withholding Statement, and provides the beneficiaries with FTB Form 592B, Resident and Non-Resident Withholding Tax Statement. If these forms are not filed, then the FTB will only apply the withholding credit to the trust and not to the beneficiaries. In this case, any withholding credit claimed on the beneficiaries' returns will be disallowed. To transfer the withholding to the beneficiaries on Form 592, the trust will list itself as the withholding agent in Part 1 of Form 592, check box B, Trust Distributions, in Part 2, list the total amount withheld on the sales proceeds in Part 3, Line 1, total tax withheld from schedule of payees, list the total amount withheld by the trust on Part 3, Line 5, this should be the same amount listed on Part 3, Line 1, and allocate the withheld amounts among the beneficiaries by listing the beneficiaries as the payees on Form 592, Schedule of Payees. The withholding is not directly reported on the California Schedule K-1, but tax professionals should provide a statement detailing the withholding and attach a copy of Form 592B to the beneficiaries K-1. When your client sells California property, check the client's MyFTB account to see if the withholding is posted to the beneficiary's account. Unfortunately, fiduciary accounts are not currently available online. Look for Form 593. Be sure the taxpayer's name and tax ID numbers are correct. And if there is no Form 593, look at the seller's closing statement to see if there was withholding subtracted from the proceeds. Also, have the client contact the escrow company for a copy of Form 593. If there's a problem with any of these items, contact the FTB's Withholding Services and Compliance section. To stay up to date with California tax law changes, subscribe to Spidel's California Tax Letter. This monthly newsletter is written by California tax pros for California tax pros in plain English with helpful examples and charts. For subscription information, go to caltax.com and click Publications. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's California Minute.